Oh, good morning. Welcome back to Colonia and the old Polish farm. I kind of took the day off yesterday mostly after we finished around lunchtime. I kind of just stopped and didn't do anything else. There was plenty of time. To do more work. Maybe take some contracts or make some feed or something, but I just, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> I guess I got lazy at the beginning of July. We harvested our field. Maybe, maybe we worked a little too hard. I wore myself out. I'm not sure. Yeah. I did put everything away. Which, I don't know if that was a good idea or not. We'll see what we do this morning. I don't know. I think we'll have milk to take. I'm trying. I'm wondering if it was a good idea to buy that loading wagon. It was nice and convenient. Uh, got some rain last night, too. The loading wagon was nice and convenient to get the uh, straw off the field fairly quickly and into the barn for bedding. But, you know, we had the hay, hay fork, I think it is got the hay fork that could have done that just a little slower I guess that's kind of like everything though you try and get something that helps you do it more efficiently I mean I don't know if we even need this thing anymore so maybe we get rid of that it's sort of like the uh this manure fork too or silage fork whatever it is I mean it hooks up to a three point link on the tractor and we've got the we got the bucket with the front end loader which will which we can use I think we're going to put manure on the field today and then I don't know see what see what there is in used equipment Maybe take some contracts. We've got a lot of manure, so it won't be a problem. I don't even bother looking to see if, let's see, we limed this. Do we need to, shouldn't need plowing, right? So, yeah. Not even sure what to put back in that field. And then this one, I guess, probably won't be ready till next month. I've been wondering, can you... All this gravel here. It shows up on the map. I wonder if you can dig it off. I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. I don't know. We're doing good for money, so I'm not like panicked about needing to get contracts and stuff, but I think we probably should. Who's thinking about expansion? We've been talking about buying this field that's got sorghum in it up by the dairy, because eventually maybe we want to buy the dairy. And then, I don't know, there's fields across the road here. I think they're currently in sorghum as well. I 
I don't like uh, I don't like how steep they are though <laughs> for my smaller tractors I don't know I think maybe we'll just continue to expand up this way by the by this sorghum field by the dairy by the pond by the field in front of the dairy what's Pat got in this field <laughs> uh, looks like sugar beets. It's been a while since we've done sugar beets, right? We bought the field that had sugar beets in it, the one we got corn in right now. That was a while back. It was Pat that had the beet harvester, though, wasn't it? That's who we borrowed it from. They're gonna be a while before we get more eggs. All right, cows, how are we doing this morning? So let's see. Yeah, they could use some food. We got a lot of slurry again. I don't know if that tank's full of it. We'll have to look, see if we can do any contracting with it. So these are eight one month olds. But yeah, we can take one load of milk. Looks much better full of straw now with the bedding. Used to just be like a tiny little patch. <laughs> what tractor should we use? I don't know. It's July. Let's enjoy the open air. Let's take the uh, Z-Tor 25K. back and just do a little arc. Okay, where's the milk gonna go? Milk. Going to tar. Maybe we should take uh, the other trailer over and get some water. Make sure the greenhouse is full. Great demand at Osada. I wonder what they want. Look at 
zawsze gadają. Nineteen forty-seven. So the price is going up again. It's more than we got last time, right? room sneak the tractor in over here you know huh keep that in mind Yeah, I said I was going to spread manure, so let's do it. Take corner. I don't think I'm gonna make that one. Let's go this way. Spin around. All right, this thing doesn't turn, does it? It's not very tight. I think we got it now. There we go. I should have done this stuff yesterday. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. Oh well.
I don't know. I gotta keep my eyes open for fertilizing contracts to get my manure and my uh, slurry down. I think it might be mostly full. Yep. <laughs> it looked like it was full. I'll just go ahead. Keep that in there in case we need some more. Alright. I don't remember what the spread was on this. Air on the side of caution. This is going to need to be cultivated yet, I think, too. Zoom out a little more so we can see what we're doing. Here we go. See what we got going on here. It was not wide enough. Not wide at all. Okay. Barely wider than the back of the spreader. I got like a six meter spread, maybe.
Yeah, I don't know how far this will go, but we got plenty of it, so not really concerned. Uh, let's see, what am I going to do here? I'm going to turn this way. <laughs> I don't know, that didn't seem like a good idea, did it? to get this corner and that edge but it probably doesn't really matter just so little I just have this overwhelming desire oh maybe that's already fertilized too it's entirely possible why it didn't take. Oh, it should still spread there, right? I don't think. done a better job. All right. I can probably time lapse this. I'm sitting here with my tongue out trying to color in between the lines. <clears throat> feel mostly done except for a couple of spots where I got a little careless and got a little too far over. We'll try and clean those up here now. I was looking around trying to get a better camera angle or whatever. I would often get kind of awful. Whoa! Oh. I have not done that before. I know Daggerwing used to do that all the time. what I did was I was hitting the 
hitting the square button. Uh, L1 and square turns the kind of turns it on and off. So I was hitting the L1 square, but it didn't have the L1 in. So I, so I unasked the tractor, jumped out of it. <laughs> embarrassing okay I think I got most everything now I don't know if I can get that that edge at the bottom of the field here at the lower end right there did it again how about that yeah can't get that. So how about these spots? There's like three dots. Yeah, I can get them. I don't think it matters that much, but we'll try and get them. There we go. There we go. And this one right up here. That'll be full coverage. We got play manure. This is not a concern. <laughs> All right. There we go. I've got this in the bucket. I might as well just dump it. Not a wagon, so it's easy enough to back in. I think I got the loading wagon on the back side of it, so. Yeah, no, no. Should be okay like that, right? Yep. Plenty of room to get around it in the back and the front. Probably feed. I don't know. Let's go check. Uh, let's go check to use equipment quick and also uh, contracts. All right, use equipment. Silage fork. We don't have anything to use it with, though. That'd be nice. Do 8,000 liters at a time, set up 800. <laughs> Same bailing. Cultivating. Ooh. Two and nine. There's a few harvesting contracts. Should take this big one just because it pays pretty good money. 27. 72, 80, and 93, huh? Yeah, 72 is not that far away. I don't think I've ever worked in that field before. I think we'll do that. It's going to be a canola harvest. And it's going to PGR, but it's just up at the... Up over that way. I've never been in that field working, I don't think, before. So we'll do that one. I'm, I'm going to... Quick before we do that, let's let's feed the cows. We'll give them two mixer wagons full quickly. So we'll need three three of these. One. Oh, 
drop that one. <laughs> Three of these and one straw. How are we doing on straws? Ah, we'll get more. Should probably time lapse this. That's two mixer wagons. I think I'm close to the wall there. Grab this. up the head and then we'll head up there. hooked up correctly here.
thinking the best way to get there is to go around by the dairy and come in that way. It's up there kind of to the left behind those fields. a canola head as soon as we turn into the field. There we go. Get our canola head on. Not sure how big this field is, how much we'll get off of it, but we can walk down and grab the truck if we've got to unload the grain tank, which we probably will, I think. It's just, I don't know. grain tank on this combine is kind of small, but I still think it's the right combine for us for this map. But this, this, this thing kind of is good kind of. Somebody else's field, so crop destruction won't happen, but we'll still try and be careful and play the game, you know? Realistic, actually. It's a cool feel. It's difficult. I like the trees all around it. Very natural looking. Yeah, there's going to be some size to this field, I'm sure, because it pays like 1200 So that uh, makes me think it's going to be more than a grain tank. Oddly shaped field. We should have a nice straight run along the track here after we get this portion of the road. And a big tree. It's a fairly long side. Missing some. There we go. All the way to the track. There we go. Yeah. 
pass that tree, not really. Back up to it. Whoa, brakes. There we go. Alright, now we're cooking with gas. This be a nice long straight run. Oh yeah, good size field. See, I think once we can get decent headlets, we'll go two rounds and then we'll go back and forth along this uh, track edge. I think. Probably the best way to do it. So we got around one time and whoa. We're going to get around once and it's going to be less than 50%, so that means uh, we'll get around a second time without a problem. And then I guess we'll try and offload right here.
contract harvest here. Getting the crop off the field and we'll get it delivered. I'm pretty sure it's PGR. I will double check. Make sure, want to make sure we're getting it to the right spot. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the views from this field. I did. We've never been in this field before. Never worked it before. So. Gives you kind of a new perspective on the map because it's just things we haven't seen before or views of the map we haven't seen before you know of the, the busy road with the gas station in the distance careful i don't want to hit my auger pipe on here but yeah you see the gas station off there and the apartment blocks and all that that's pretty cool this down let's close those power down hop in the truck while I let it warm up here let me verify the delivery location pretty sure it's PGR it is PGR Quite a bit, we got almost 11,000 liters off of there. I don't know, I've had, uh, I've had some fun today. I think it was a good episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Not sure how it'll come out in editing. We'll figure it out. I want to thank you for hanging out with me here at the old Polish farm. I know your time is valuable to you, and I appreciate you just spending a little of it here with me. I think I came around to the wrong side, didn't I? Got to be over here a little more. No? There we go. I thought maybe I was having a problem with uh, the triggers coming up on Ohio Farm yesterday. So, yeah. Didn't know if it was carrying over. There we go. We got an extra 976 for that. Not bad. We'll go ahead and collect on that contract. So, 15 cents, about 2,500. Look at that, 108,005 euros. It's pretty good. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you don't subscribe yet, why not? Don't cost nothing. See you next time here in Colonia. Station.